meeting you here. What are you doing? I'm professor of theology, Harry. Got that son of a bitch that time. What's going on? It's war. At long last, the war against the machine. Come on. So it's just what you have been waiting for, Harry. What? War against the machine. Don't listen to him. You are obliged to stem the rising tide of anarchy fomented by effete intellectuals who cynically reject the blessings of order, work, and private property. What's that got to do with machines, then? Technology is the most sublime creation of the human mind ah, that will eventually set man free. <laughs> what do you think? Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Friends, traitors, after all we've done for you. Come on, get out! Come on! Get out, go! I think you ought to know, I don't consider this very patriotic of you fellows. with the stuff. We want to be ready for them when they come. To think that I used to be a pacifist. <clears throat> Where does this bloodlust come from? I'm sure it's not rational. Of course it isn't. It's pure childishness. That's war. Childishness on a gigantic scale. Yes. We must not always reduce the irrational to the rational. As do the Americans, and the Bolsheviks too. They are both extraordinarily rational, and they both produce a frightful oppression and impoverishment of life. You're a Lulu, Harry. You talk just like a book. But we'll bag no cars with philosophy. All hands to battle stations. <laughs> Attorney General Laring, why did you fire upon us? For exceeding the speed limit. You're only doing the normal speed. What was normal yesterday is no longer normal today. Any speed a motor car travels is too great. And now, will you be so kind as to get out as your motor car will be destroyed? I prefer to be destroyed with it. As you like. God knows, as public prosecutor, you've murdered your share of poor devils in your day. It was my duty. A conception obviously unknown to you. What duty? I belong to the state. I served as a soldier. I killed on orders and paid taxes to buy more armaments. Until I couldn't get up in the morning without throwing up. You bore me. Be so kind as to get on with your job. My dear, are you skilled with firearms? You could teach me. <laughs> oh. 
I imagine you'll be wanting lunch soon. Have you got a court plaster for my finger? It's bleeding like anything. Uh, whatever's to become of us? Oh, no. But my friend Harry knows. He's fond of pretty girls. He'll look after you. Come on. <laughs> if you had some cucumbers, I could make some smashing sandwiches. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Delightful suicide. You love yourself to bits. <laughs> 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 